Hi guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. So sometimes I just want to share something cute and wholesome with you guys. So today we're going to look at some wholesome memes. Okay, let's see what Brooke Kremel has to say. My boyfriend paid my $2,000 tuition payment a couple of months ago because I was broke and I tried to pay him back and this boy really said, no, it's okay. Remember that one time you paid for Chipotle when I forgot my wallet? In what way is that equal at all, Lamel? I'm crying. Oh, that's so sweet. And honestly, like I'm really a fan of people kind of remembering, like, you know what, I really want to pay them back. They did something nice for me and I really want to pay them back. They are not equal though. <laughs> Her paying for Chipotle and him paying for a $2,000 tuition payment is quite different, but um, it's just really touching that he appreciated that and he showed it with his actions in the future. I love that. Okay, a little kid came up to the ice cream truck today holding a $5 in one hand and a cool leaf in the other. She asked for a bomb pop and I said, okay, that will be one leaf please. And she said no and handed me the $5. <laughs> trying to do something nice but she was like um you're not getting my cool leaf you know how it took me all day to find this leaf that's so cute okay people.com said man who grew up in foster care adopts three boys i'm the father i wish i had growing up everyone liked that <laughs> is amazing this really brightens your day to see people out there doing the right thing because i think we hear so much like if you watch the news or even like the topics that are trending usually they're the ones that are the most controversial the most divisive um contain the most drama and you know don't get me wrong i like to partake a little bit as well that's why i have the whole um am i the antagonist series on this channel with my mom but it is nice every now and then to remember there are people out there doing wonderful things and it kind of inspires you to want to go out and touch someone's life in a positive way too. Okay, Betsy says, when I was at the lake, there was a group of college guys jumping off a cliff and they were all giving this one dude in their group crap for wearing a life jacket when no one else had one on. And he goes, quit it. I pinky promised my girl I would wear it. <laughs> and I think about that a lot. Yes, pinky promises cannot be broken. Can you imagine if he went in with a without the life jacket after Pinky promising his girlfriend, he would probably burst into flames. Okay, <laughs> Margaret Leahy, Leahy says, I put these clocks up when my four children started traveling and living abroad and I keep them set to the time zone where each of them are. This morning for the first time in almost three years, they are all on the same time. Hashtag family. That is so cute. Everybody has their own little clock. That's so amazing. Hey, Adam Cook says, my professor handed back our three page film essay. To my surprise, I got a C after class. I asked her why. You were supposed to write it about the movie, The Emperor of Time. You wrote it on The Emperor's New Groove. But it was kind of good, so I didn't fail you. So that's how I'm doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I will look up the Emperor of Time because I just want to know how far off base this person was. A, a Sundance favorite, The Emperor of Time is an absolute treat for cinephiles. The film is projected entirely through an old mutoscope, an early motion picture device from animation pioneer Windsor McKay. That's all I can tell you. You can Google the Emperor of Time if you'd like to see um, more about that. I think I will watch that later. It's just a short film. It looks very interesting, but yeah, they were, they were pretty wrong. <laughs> they should be grateful for that scene. Uh, went to the shelter to pick up my newest foster litter and the woman goes, do you want two kittens or four? Truly really the most absurd question I've ever heard. Anyway, they need names. <laughs> oh my gosh, but that, I was gonna say that seems like a lot of work to like raise four cats, but I know cats are pretty independent. Those of you who have multiple cats, they pretty much keep to themselves. 
Is it just litter box maintenance? Okay, Emma says, thinking about how the Dutch police arrested a bird for taking part in a robbery, put it in a jail cell with bread and water, and when the media reported on it, they put a little black bar over the face to protect its identity. <laughs> it looks like a parakeet. I can't tell one parakeet from another parakeet even without the black bar, so. But that is so cute. Like, I, wa I wanna know which part the bird played in the robbery? <laughs> what did it do? Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, jellyfish, done. Muhammad Ali, sting like a bee, jellyfish, I'm nailing this. And then someone says, Bruce Lee, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water, jellyfish, I could not be any more mindless or like water. <laughs> the jellyfish are martial artists. Okay, Yukon Ghost, Diner, Waitress, Cops and Kids 5 and Under Eat Free, Me Discreetly Nudging My 6 Year Old, My 6 Year Old, I'm a Police, Oh, so innocent, uh, <laughs> Is That Eagle Hurt? Okay, so that the eagle is like on the ground instead of perching higher up, so what's going on there? Is That Eagle Hurt? If you see an eagle lying down in the back corner under a perch, in the back left corner under a perch, that's Murphy. Murphy is not hurt, sick, or otherwise in distress. He has built a nest on the ground and is very carefully incubating a rock. We wish him the best of luck. <laughs> I am so confused like why he thought the rock was an egg and how long he'll continue trying if it never hatches. That's super interesting. A young woman caught a home run ball hit by Japanese slash MLB superstar Shohei Otani during the World Baseball Classic. And someone next to her wanted to see the ball and it eventually got passed around the stadium to whoever wanted to see it and it was returned to her after everyone got their turn. That is amazing. And I will say like, the baseball experience in Japan is so different from in the US. Um, I saw a Giants game at Tokyo Dome um, a, like several years ago and I knew it was going to be completely different when the cheerleaders came out and I was like, what are we doing here? <laughs> that was super fun and it's very wholesome that nobody tried to take the ball and it got back to her in the end. I love that. Natalie Foster says, HR at my work just called me and I thought I was in trouble for something, but they let me know my 11 year old sister has been commenting on their Instagram every day, telling them to give me a raise. <laughs> These are so sweet, like I can't. You have a really sweet little sister. And that reminds me of a time when I called um, a car dealership and <laughs> tried to order one red truck for my mom. <laughs> I'm just like, one truck please, and I'd like it in red. And they were like, put your mom on the phone. <laughs> so I get it, she had good intentions. People can now adopt dogs who failed government training for being too friendly. That's so cute. I want that one, can I have that one? Hey, okay, this one takes it home this year. <laughs> so she has to wear this cloud dress so that they can green screen it out. I love that! That is so fun! I want her job just for a day, just to wear the dress and the green screen. Maybe I'll get one anyway. <laughs> I don't. I, I just realized I don't have to be a weather person to wear a cloud and get in front of a green screen. <laughs> no, I love that. They're going the extra mile to make the weather a little bit more interesting. Okay, this happened today right now, 15 minutes ago. My dad announcing me that he has the hereditary family cancer and is waiting for a specialist view on his case. The specialist telling him that the generalist misunderstood his results and it's not cancer, guys. <laughs> I feel a little bad about laughing because I'm sure those moments between seeing the generalist and the specialist must have been terrifying to think that he might have had cancer, especially if they lost family members due to that cancer. But it's really wonderful that he doesn't have it. 
Hey, Duolingo can be good sometimes. Let's see what happens. We have Amanda Lopez, and she has two following, five followers, joined March 2023, learning several languages. And Rob, okay, we're just calling him Rob, joined in 2020, learning similar languages to her, three following, four followers. Okay. Are you the guy that keeps congratulating me on Duolingo? Thank you. I try to keep going even when dead because the cheers help. And he says, yeah, that's me. Cool. I wasn't sure if you were just a super cute bot. Haha. -ha. And then they got married. <laughs> that is adorable. I wonder how long he was congratulating her because like, I was on Duolingo and I made some like, I guess, friends like this, but I never talked to them because there is no way to message the other users but there were people who would like regularly congratulate me on my milestones and I did not know these people and so I would do the same for them so yeah we created some kind of little friendship <laughs> yeah it's so sweet that they ended up like meeting each other and it ended up working out <laughs> those are all the wholesome memes I have for today if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one bye